Hello, uh, my name is Craig Mathis. I'm the bookstore and distribution manager for Printed Matter, and I'd like to take you on a short tour of our Chelsea location. Before we go inside, uh, I wanted to have you uh, look at our latest window installation. Uh, it's a series of posters uh, designed to speak about the Palestinian struggle and liberation. No, you Hello again. So Printed Matter was founded in 1976 uh, by a group of artists and art workers and since then has moved around to several different locations in Manhattan. And this is our latest, which is at 231 11th Avenue. Printed Matter also has a second location, which is in the lobby of the Swiss Institute in the East Village uh, called Printed Matter St. Mark's. And so um, oftentimes when uh, visitors arrive to our store for the first time, they need a bit of assistance to understand how everything is laid out. Um, it can be a bit overwhelming, so hopefully this will be a helpful tour for you. Um, here in the front of our store, we have a selection of new zines, uh, as well as prints and posters on the columns, which we also have throughout the store. This is our cash register, where we have uh, different um, artist multiples, stickers and postcards, buttons and pins, uh, and tote bags and things designed by artists. And in the main section uh, here in the front of our store, uh, we have um, this large display, which is new arrivals, um, different types of books from um, you know, traditional artist books, uh, zines, uh, facsimile reproductions, um, and so whenever we have new things, this area is constantly rotating, so we have a wide selection as possible um, to, uh, to showcase to people uh, as they walk in. Um, along the walls is uh, alphabetical uh, by artist name. Uh, and then around to this side is our zine section. This is my coworker, Savannah. And so we have uh, featured uh, zine publishers, uh, groups with prolific practices uh, and prolific publishing um, in numbers of titles, uh, alphabetical zines, half size and full size. Uh, these carts uh, right here are also broken out into featured publishers um, alphabetically and they run throughout the store. Um, on this side, we have um, uh, usually reserve a section for um, a new featured publisher, someone that has multiple um, publications being added to inventory at one time so we can give uh, visitors a cohesive view of everything the, that they've produced at that moment. Um, small books along here. Uh, reference books, um, books about artist books, books about uh, different historical publishing uh, moments. Um, historical periodicals from New York City past, uh, things like that. So if you're trying to understand what an artist book is or how to make one or a successful uh, attempts at uh, publishing them in the past, this is a good area of the store. Um, over here is uh, uh, just a selection of some of the glass cases that we have. So um, we do have um, classic and sought after rare um, artist books and projects from the late 60s uh, through now. And so we rotate different titles uh, in this area and as well as our glass cases upstairs. Um, different tabletops uh, sort of represent different genres here in the store. This one is generally dedicated to um, books that uh, feature uh, photography. Uh, over here is uh, comics, uh, risograph publications, uh, illustrated works, graffiti, um, and then in the shelves behind it, uh, more like oversized books or uh, things that are generally speaking kind of photographic in nature. Um, along the wall is our uh, is a, a vinyl image from our latest uh, exhibition. So every three months or so, we'll have uh, a new exhibition both on the wall, in the vitrines, and in our project room to the right. 
Uh, this latest exhibition is from the Hungarian artist Andre Tote, and it features a number of artworks, publications, in a and ephemera describing his practice. And then, um, as we um, as we establish uh, relationships with artists uh, and their publications and selling them here in the store, uh, they oftentimes will break out into different types of um, uh, artworks and things uh, for us to sell. So we have t-shirts, uh, as I mentioned before, we have tote bags, prints, posters, uh, and different types of artist multiples. Um, and then as we continue through the store, you can see we have a table that features black artists, um, more new arrivals, last copy section, um, which is also a popular section as people try and find things that may have uh, sold out or just about to be sold out. And then on this side, we have um, artist writings, text-based works. And then if you look along uh, this um, uh, column face, we have more posters, some from uh, from the past, from like the 70s and 80s, to more contemporary like risograph uh, posters from, uh, from today. Here in the stairwell um, is the section related to printed matters uh, published titles. So at differing points in the organization's history, um, it's had an active publishing practice. And uh, more so in the 2000s, has it become, um, uh, have we added more titles on a more consistent basis, um, featuring uh, books by artists from New York City, uh, facsimile reproductions of classic books, um, commissioned works, and books related to historical movements and artist book publishing in the past. And then upstairs, we have uh, more thematic sections, um, most of which um, have remained the same. Um, and we continue to add new titles to these categories every day. Um, architecture and design, foreign language, feminism, uh, again, text-based works, drawing and painting, uh, queer publications, and then uh, several shelves related to uh, photography-based like artist books. And then here in the glass cases, um, as I said, we have more books um, from generations past, things that have gone out of print, things that were printed in very low uh, editions, things that are sought after by collectors, things that have historical significance, uh, things that are fragile. Um, and so uh, whenever we have people come by, um, we'll assist them if they want to view any of these. And then the final section of our store is our audio section. So as, as I said before, um, uh, different artists also like will branch off into um, different forms of expression, uh, one of them being uh, audio, music making, uh, sound composition, et cetera. And um, upstairs we have uh, cassettes, uh, DVDs, CDs, uh, VHS tapes, and, uh, and vinyl, uh, as well as a listening station uh, for people to sample things um, if they're curious. And that concludes my tour of the store. But before, uh, before we go, I wanted to introduce Max Schumann, the executive director of Printed Matter. And he'd like to say a few closing words. Hi. Um, thanks, Greg. And nice to meet you all out there. Um, and yeah, just to, uh, to make a few concluding remarks about Printed Matter, hopefully not too redundant from what Greg has already introduced you to. but. Printed Matter was founded in 1976 by a group of artists and art workers in response to the growing phenomena of artist books, which were happening, artwork and book form, which was happening more and more frequently back in those times. Um, our core mission remains pretty much the same to this day, which is to distribute artist books um, to the broadest audience as possible, and to also foster the understanding, appreciation, engagement, and celebration of this amazing art form um, through our various public programming. 
Um, so as such, we are much, much more than a bookstore. We're really a center, a hub for artist book and artist book related activities. Um, uh, our database is one of the largest public, public bibliographic databases of artist books in the world. And it can be used to order books online, but also for scholarship and research, or simply to browse and learn more about the field. And uh, we have a full schedule of public programs, um, including exhibitions and a publishing, um, a publishing program. And we also have ongoing events on a regular basis. Um, since COVID, often online, but now we are returning to in-store and outdoor um, um, uh, event programming. And these can take the form of artist talks, artist readings, panel discussions, presentations, screenings, performances, sound and audio work, um, all revolving around artist books and publishing. Um, so I hope if you come to Chelsea that you have a chance to um, visit us um, or our satellite locations, Printed Matter St. Mark's in the East Village. So I hope you enjoyed this tour. Super nice to meet you. And please um, come and visit us if you can. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.